Have you seen one of those deepfake videos that can, like, make anyone Nicolas Cage for a second? Cool, right? Well, only if you think it's cool that this tech will create a horrifying world where none of us can trust what we see with our own eyes as AI technology robs us of our privacy, our identity, and our sense of safety, which coincidentally I do think is kind of cool. So let's get into it. So what exactly is a deep fake and why should I be so terrified? It is a process in which an artificial intelligence takes a person's face and then replaces it with an existing image or series of images, thus creating a new, often seamless video. The deep part of deep fake comes from the deep learning AI techniques that are essential to making this seemingly simple process work. There are two primary and two machine learning models at work here. The first creates these video forgeries from a set of given videos. The second one then tries to tell if the forged video is a fraud. If the second one cannot tell that the video is fraudulent, then boom, hey, you have got yourself a deep fake. What's super impressive about this technology is how quickly it's spread, how easy it is to use, and how cheap it is. You can find software that can do deep fakes online for free, along with many more mainstream services that make pretty incredible deep fakes for prices as low as $29 a month. All in all, you could create a deep fake video in four to five hours. The process can be pretty in-depth depending on the video you're using. For instances, if you do a video that features multiple people, you will want to block out the faces that you don't want to replace. If you want to use your own face, you might have to film yourself for upwards of 20 minutes to get enough angles for the AI. That, or you need to find as many images of the person's face you're looking to use from as many angles as possible. That might seem like an annoying amount of work, but compared to the expense and time it takes to make a CGI model of a character, especially without motion capture, then there's no contest. This could be the coolest innovation in video tech in the 21st century. Well, so far. Of course, this could radically reshape the world by eroding our trust in the news or in our own personal safety. Though none of that has to do with how this will affect Star Wars, so let's start with that. Before we go to a galaxy far, far away, it'd be really great if you could just take a second to like and subscribe. I'm sure this very real Elon Musk would be happy that you did. The most obvious use for this tech is in Hollywood. I mean, this kind of thing happens all the time without deepfake technology. Everyone from Disney to Scorsese to Disney and heck even to Disney has been digitally editing performances, de-aging actors or straight up resurrecting deceased actors using CGI. This has been criticized heavily because A, it's kind of creepy and B, it just never really looks quite right, does it? They always have just a little bit of that Tom Hanks from the Polar Express problem. I'm sure you've already seen videos where deep fake artists have redone one of these sequences and frankly blowing them out of the water. It's only a matter of time before this is the norm in Hollywood. The Mandalorian is already using a de-aged version of Luke Skywalker, who is looking less creepy each time we see him. There are good chances that we will see more deceased actors like Sir Alec Guinness or Carrie Fisher. Deep fakes don't just replace people's faces, but can use the same kind of technology to replace voices as well. The tech can replicate unique cadences of a performance using another performer's voice. In fact, the show Obi-Wan Kenobi already did this with the most famous voice in all of Star Wars, Darth Vader. While that show featured the final performance of James Earl Jones as the voice of Vader, his voice had changed considerably since the original trilogy. They actually mixed his performance in with samples of him doing the voice from years earlier to give it that robust, terrifying Vader sound. As much as these movie companies like their own technology, deepfakes seem to be the future, whether Hollywood likes it or not. And some people really do not like it. Some stars have made it absolutely known that they are not going to allow anyone to deepfake over their face or with their face. One of those stars plays the greatest assassin in movie history, so I would not cross him. Keanu Reeves recently revealed in an interview that he's terrified of where AI is headed as far as the movie industry is concerned. 
He's still angry from when a director decided to digitally add a tear in one of his movies. He thinks that this makes performances inauthentic and invalidates the entire job. It is explicitly stated in his contract that no one is allowed to digitally alter his face in any way without his permission. Turns out that Keanu Reeves had every reason to be afraid of people stealing his face, but we'll get to that later. As scared as he is, politicians should be much, 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 much more terrified. There are all sorts of nefarious uses deep fake technology could use, but perhaps nothing more potentially damaging than impersonating a world leader. Take for instance, when European politicians were duped into deep fake video calls with who they thought was the mayor of Kyiv. The conversation he had with several other leaders went on for around 15 minutes before they caught wise to the ruse. That's pretty shocking. There have also been several videos floating around online of politicians saying inflammatory or scandalous things. While 9 times out of 10 they are quickly dismissed as pranks, some people online are quick to believe anything and that can be very, very dangerous. It would be easy for a rival politician to share this video, give it credibility, and then that train goes running before anyone has a chance to stop it. That kind of thing happens all the time without deep fake tech, so it definitely would not help the problem. There's also the flip side of this issue. If a politician could be deep faked into doing something scandalous, then anytime a politician is caught doing or saying something legitimately scandalous, they could just simply blame it on deep fake technology. Right now, deep fakes aren't quite realistic enough to hold up to scrutiny over time. Most videos have at least a few frames where you can tell something's off. Humans spend most of our time studying faces for even the slightest to change for our social development, so we are highly aware of when something is off. If that doesn't work, there is also technology that can quickly figure out that the video is not real. Now that might not help you. If Keanu Reeves calls and asks you for money, you might want to believe that it's him. With every leap forward in the world of technology, there is an equal leap forward in the world of scams. Phones led to aggressive telemarketing scams. The internet led to all sorts of email scams requesting money. And deep fakes have now paved the way for celebrities to seemingly ask you for cash or for a meetup. Evidently, there have been examples of a deep faked Keanu sliding into people's DMs and proclaiming his undying love for them. Some may have fallen for it, but other people just simply reported it. Banks even warned of Keanu Reeves trying to defraud senior citizens. Add this to the series of advertisements and internet scams that have come up in recent years where someone famous tries to grab your money. So, you know, in general, if a celebrity suddenly falls in love with you, don't believe it. Ooh, unless it's Army Hammer. In that case, you should run as quickly as possible. Of course, with any new technology, especially artificial intelligence, people have to make it as scary as possible. There are already fears that this could be used for identity theft, especially as facial recognition security systems become more and more popular. Then there are the truly insane ideas, such as a mask you might wear that could deepfake a person's face so well that you couldn't tell who they were. I'm guessing it would take the same image fed to AI and then have it 3D print a mask? I guess they'd look like those super masks in Mission Impossible. That's already becoming an issue as the rise of hyper-realistic masks become more and more popular. Then, if Zuckerberg has his way, we're all gonna have to worry about the metaverse. Those at the company formerly known as Facebook seem to think that, in the future, real life will look just like the internet 24-7. We then might have to worry about live deep fakes that could be used to impersonate other people in real time. As scary as deep fake tech is, there are some really positive ways that this innovation could change the future that don't get quite as much press. The positive examples of this tech are most commonly seen now in the medical and educational fields. In training, people are already talking about how med students could train with deep faked patients who don't exist. This could be an excellent way for young doctors to train with realistic models who have signs of certain diseases that are applied using deep fake technology. It could also be used to keep patients anonymous for research or appointments over the internet. Then there's education. It's easy to see how deep fakes could make certain subjects really come to life. 
especially history. You could have the face of Abraham Lincoln personally tell you about the Civil War. As far as businesses go, the more that people work from home, the less they might want to actually be seen. A deepfaked avatar would prevent you from having to get made up for a virtual meeting. Though I'm pretty sure those meetings would just be 13 people who all just looked like Keanu Reeves. I'm just excited for the inevitable day when we get those cool deepfake masks. No offense, Keanu, but I am 100% gonna walk around town like I'm John Wick and you cannot stop me. 